All right, we're going to work this problem. First of all, there's some information that we don't need to start with right away. It tells us the amount of energy a city is using every day, and it wants to know how many kilograms of octane do they need to burn in order to make that amount of energy. First, we need to know how much octane is made when you have one mole of octane that is reacting. So, we're going to take octane plus oxygen produces carbon dioxide and water. If we balance that, we would need 8 here, we would need a 9 here. To get oxygen, we'd have 9 plus 8 times 2 is 16. That adds up to 25. That's not an even number. So, the rule there is you go back and double everything. We're going to make that one a 2, this one 16, and this one 18. Now we add up 18 oxygens and 32 oxygens. We end up with 20, 50 oxygens total, which can be divided into and we get 25, okay? However, we want to know one mole, and this is for two moles. So now we're going to go back and go back to one. We'll divide everything in half. I know it's kind of redundant, and we'll put 25 over 2 for our oxygens, okay? And, oh, that was 8. Just knocked my water over. Everything's okay, and that was 9. All right, next we're going to calculate heat of reaction using formations. These are the heats of formation. All right, we do products minus reactants. So first we're going to do 8 times carbon dioxide. I'm going to highlight that in blue. Carbon dioxide gas is negative 393.5. We're going to add that to our nine waters. And we have water in the gaseous form, so nine times 241.8. And we're going to sum that up. And then we're going to subtract the reactants. The reactants are going to be the value for octane and the value for oxygen. Octane, it tells us up here, is negative 250. And we only have one. And oxygen, we have 25 halves. Oxygen is a zero. So, punch that into the calculator. And we get 8 times 393.5, negative 393.5, is negative 3148. And 9 times 241.8 is negative 2176.2. We're going to subtract negative 250 which means we're going to add that, and once we put all of that together, I'm going to have to do the math because I can't read my own handwriting, negative 3148 minus 2176.2 plus 250 gives us negative 5074.2 kilojoules for one mole. All right, this is the energy for one mole. But the energy up here is 1 times 10 to the 11th, but we don't know the number of moles of that. So we're going to solve, we're going to do a uh, cross multiplication 1 times 11, 10 to the 11th kilojoules. So we'll end up with 1 times 10 to the 11th kilojoules equals negative 5074.2x 
moles, divide both sides by 5, negative 507, 4.2, and we get 2, let's see, I better do it, 1 second E11 divided by 5074.2, we get negative one nine seven zero seven five four zero moles. Okay? That seems like a big amount. It is. But it wouldn't be negative. because this would also be negative, so the negatives would cancel each other out. Now, the question was grams of um, octane. How do you convert moles to grams? Joe Bush, mm -hmm. do you remember how to ch convert moles to grams? No. Say, come say hi. Okay. Sorry, I'm doing laundry. It's all right. They won't care. There's Joe, home from California. I am. The Aztec... We're doing moles to grams. Moles to grams. Um, no. It's been a long time. Yeah, I was trying to think of a... It's been, what, nine years? Don't make me do math. Because you were 15, to... you're 24 now, and you were 15 oh, when you were a sophomore. Yeah. yeah. Ten years nearly. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Joe. He's doing laundry. He came home from California. All right, so this is a plus, not a four. I'm going to get confused. Moles to grams, we multiply by the molar mass. Molar mass of octane, C8, so 12 times 8 plus 18 is 114 grams and one mole. One nine seven zero seven five four zero That's grams. Let's convert it to kilograms. We divide by a thousand. decimal over three. If we write that out in scientific notation as any sane person would do, one, two, three, four, five, six, 2.2 times 10 to the sixth kilograms. And I just checked in the book and that would be correct. So hooray. So that is how you do that one. Perfect.